Hello and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda with your story Lord of the Demand. Okay. Was that the newest email? No, the email order has changed for some reason or another. <gasps> Hi, Pock. You're a new friend. And you're a big friend of that, aren't you? <gasps> yeah. Uh, I'm gonna have to talk to BB, I think, to see exactly what we can do to help uh, Pock grow bigger and stronger. And to become the best around. So nothing would ever bring it down. But first, strike the missions! Dun -dun -dun. Romeo, what did you get? You leveled up. Excellent, you got the sub submission phones, bronze item loot box, and resource state loot box. Great news. Bravo, what did you get? Mission successful, mission funds, loot box, resource data. Excellent. And Romeo? Also succeeded. Five mission funds, boxes, nifty. All right then, uh, we are going to send a strike team to this, probably the level four boy, I think. And then we're going to send someone to recover an artifact for me. Uh, Romeo, again, go ahead. And this is like an 11% chance of success, so we're not sending anyone there right yet. But we are going to send Bravo to a silver level mission because that makes sense. Please check your inventor for me more details. Grogan Hammer? I, yeah? Yeah, I, I'm interested in seeing what that is. It's probably no shotgun that we got, but a Krogan hammer does sound interesting. 560 melee damage. This is 455. I want to give it a try. Not gonna lie. And then track will probably be like, you know, that's meant for not you. That's our word, Krogan Hammer. Ryder. I'll let you go. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. I know Kill wants to talk you know to me, to supposedly. Me. But I'll, I'll see you around. I take it you moved your stuff over from the Nexus? Yeah, my squatter's paradise is all the more cluttered. What's up? Is there more about Kalinda you want to share? Back home, she was upper crust. An ambassador, respected, living the high life, but miserable. Not built for royalty, she said. With her position, the initiative sought her out as a first contact specialist. First wave out of stasis. Kalinda was the one who got me thought out early. I'm still grateful for that. But things went south soon. She hurt me. Pretty badly. What happened? Oh, well, let's not drum up that sob story. It's all water under the bridge. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. Okay. Bloody Galinda, you're not supposed to hurt friends like that. I mean, yeah, it's probably not on purpose. The team's invited to the, their uh, regular poker game. They've been practicing and each wants to be the one to dethrone me. Notes and crew tendencies. Game 1. Result. Took everyone's credits in record time. Better size when she gets the cards she wants every time. When BB finishes shuffling, the bottom card can often be seen. Track might be the easiest to read, but try not to say anything that suggests this. In fact, say the opposite. It gets even sloppier when his ego's been stroked. Cora has yet to bluff. Might not be in her makeup. Jarl has real potential. Result. Broke game 1's record on game 2. Considering easing them up on them a little, BB has started checking, but only to check race. She always needs to be the one pushing the action. Track thinks staring at me will tell him something. Think I'll blow him a kiss next time. I was about to say kick. 
Matt is getting upset, she doesn't show it, but it's obvious. Cora still won't bluff, she's too risk averse. Even with a good hand, a strong bet will get her to lay it down. Charles' inexperienced inexperience is an advantage, he's hard to read. Alright, oh, he's lying. Uh, game 3. Result let Vetra hang with me for a long time before dashing their hopes this time. She left very encouraged. Overall mood was improved among other, thi other things. If Charles is still in her hand, PB plays less aggressively, thinks she wants him. Oh, Drag doesn't know it, but he picks his nose when he's got something. Cora bluffed. It was horrible. Two or three hands, Charles had me sweating. He's only just started and he's so much better than Vetra. Game 4. Couldn't help myself, took Vetra down first. Still undefeated. Showed all seven bluffs that worked on Cora. Wanted to see if I can goad her into playing looser. Called PB's hand four times, maybe she'll start slowing down. Doing all this just to change things up a bit, getting bored. Scared of Charles. Result, yawn, easy money. Charles is clearly better than everyone else, especially Vetra. Plan worked, Cora actually bluffed once. It was horrible. She was so uncomfortable. Uh, Vetra played much cagier after being destroyed last time. I'm going to keep telling her she's dangerous. It's more fun when she's in a good mood. PB doesn't seem to care how much that I know exactly what she has. She still bulldozes away. I'll keep flashing the red cape. Track could learn a thing or two from Charles. Stop talking all the time. Charles barely speaks, so he doesn't give much away. Stop eating and drinking. Charles never eats or drinks while we play. He stays focused. Stop picking his nose. Charles never picks his nose. Think I have this jump stone. Next time, maybe I'll play with my eyes closed. Alright, do we have any Vicon calls? No. For some reason. My brain was like, yeah, we should speak to Anderson, but it's not that game. We are not Commander Shepard. This is not our favorite shop on the Citadel. And this is this is a whole different experience. Uh, I don't suppose there is anything we do with AVP, right? Yeah, there's nothing with rewards to collect. So I guess those don't uh, gather up while we're not playing. Hey there. Hey yourself. Question for you. Shoot, when all this craziness is over, do you think you'll have kids? Why is that on your mind? Jill, the best friend I mentioned while I was thrashing you at poker, she's starting the initiative's first repopulation effort at Prodromos. It's all she can talk about. It got me thinking. At the end of the day, this whole thing, the Andromeda initiative, it, we're basically here to spawn. Those of us lucky enough to live through this. Exactly. And there aren't that many to start. We're a disaster or two away from not having enough numbers to survive. Jill's right. At some point soon, we better get busy making babies. True enough. Who knew this thing was just a glorified dating service? Oosh. The biological imperative is kind of a bummer. So you want to have a child of your own? I... I don't know. That's never been a thing for me. Well, you know me. Whatever my gut says in the moment, I do, and I don't look back. My mom says that's how my dad was. I wouldn't know. His gut moved on before I was born. I had no idea. It must have been hard. Hey, I turned out all right. He did his part, brought me into the world. Maybe that's enough. Thanks for talking, Ryder. I mean, you can always adopt. There's probably going to be lots of people fucking about hey, and then dying. What's the story? Tell me about Jill. How's your friend Jill doing? Good. Busy. Apparently, prepping multiple species for procreation is a lot of work. Who knew? Waiting to get it all started was killing her. Now she's being shot out of a cannon, so to speak. Regale me with some poker wisdom. <laughs> well, bluffing and reading players aside, Poker is all about math. If the odds of getting the card you need are greater than the bet, make the bet. Good talking to you, Gil. Anytime. How's the search for the Asari Ark going? Those Asari refugees were a real help. Now to find the survey ship they mentioned. Are you happy here? Yes. The Pathfinder lets me tinker. I took apart something called a blow dryer. It's more valuable tech than it seems. We're going to have words when she's gone. 
Hello. Be careful around the ship, okay? And what's going on on the info board? Given recent events. Yeah, nothing new here. Because we haven't actually done any... Oh, this really... Right, so we have Plants vs Zombies merch on our ship. I didn't approve this. Who, who brought Plants vs Zombies merch onto my ship? I have never played the Plants vs Zombies game, to be fair. But you know, I've, I've been under the impression that it's... A game. Hello, Scott. And the age. But so is this, I guess. How are those jokes coming, Sam? Why do Elcor start stampedes? Because they wish to be heard. Mm. I like mm -hmm. it. Right. Thanks, Sam. Nothing more. I, I liked it. But I can understand why it would be. Hmm. Hmm. On why this point. Alright, let's get up this ladder and let's get on a planet. How do you start a party for your new colonies? You plan it. But, okay. Rider. We'll talk later, you have nothing I to say to me. To Sounds good. And odds are... Gallo probably has just as what much to I say for me. You? Nothing new? What do you think of the rest of the crew? No. <laughs> if I gossip anymore, I'll get in trouble. Nothing new. I'll let you concentrate. You know where I'll be. Alright. We want to go to Eos. This, what's the firefighters? Okay, we're headed to the system view for now. And we are headed further out because I just want to go back to Eos. So we are also expected there. And there's something going on in Alesh. There's something going on in Faithfa. We have reasons to go to a lot of places, but I probably should really go to Aya, shouldn't I? Mold is also important. This, this. Pythias system, home of Eos and Prodromos. This game has a lot to it. I guess that's. That's just part of being like one of those very open games. You want there to be a lot to do for your players. And because I'm the sort of person who wants to do everything, this is a tough one. Uh, did we get... No, the Brana is the only one we have. We got an Avenger, but that's an assault rifle, and we don't need any assault rifles. We do have a hammer. Which is good, because I like to hammer folks with my newfound hammer. The hammer is not my penis. Thanks for asking. Did I want to try out the platinum one? I think I did. Yeah. Oh, I think I assigned the wrong one. That's fine. The scent is green. We will land uh, right next to one of those thingies that we can uh, literally go ahead and change our nomads color at. So we can change it back into platinum. The platinum is not chrome. I'm still wishing it's a little bit shiny. I just want to use a fucking catalyst as my car. So wherever we go, we accidentally keep making chemical reactions happen, but at least our car stays perfectly intact. Why was that the uh, Fate to Black necessary game? Yeah, I did switch it to red. I don't want to have a red car. 
I want it to be platinum. Confirm. Is that platinum? Did I misclick? No, that's platinum, alright. For some reason. I did not expect that to look quite this dark. Okay, well, fine. I don't remember. Did we finish up over there? Yes, we did. Okay, so our next stop should probably be over there. Closer. Okay, I can understand what he what it wants from us. That doesn't mean it should be on our map at all times. Just chilling in our faces. It should have no right for that. Huh. Let me see that again. Look at that view. Well, that's something. Okay. For a moment, I thought what I saw was literally the edge of the map. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. Let's you can extract minerals. Take a look at this uh, little cat hole. Looking at little cat holes is what we do. That only sounds ever so slightly wrong. That's probably a lie. Okay, there's no immediate benefits to this direction, is there? Here they come. Are we meant to go down to that lake? <sighs> well, yeah, we certainly can go down to that lake. Sail across, doesn't it? Wonder what it's like on Eos when it rains. We do our job. Someone will see it. Now this is familiar. A world isn't home without water. Look at all these plant life. Because the fact is, I wanted to investigate that. And I didn't realize we were still on the hill climbing mode. What is that? I feel like I've seen you before. No, I have seen creepers before. Nice I guess I never realized they were remnant. I thought they were just thingies. This is certainly a sight. Which makes me wonder now, are there several entrances to vaults on planets? Or is it like, there's one wall, there's one vault, if you find that vault, good for you, you bloody bastard. But if you don't, then, not our worry. Look at that fire, it's certainly going, isn't it? Technically. Supposedly. What is that? Is that the game showing me I can't go that way? Is that what that is? Am I not allowed to go down to the lake from here? It certainly does the line. Yeah, you must return to the mission area. Cool. So we learned where the edge of the map is. We also learned that there's a lot of resources over here that I can pick up. Yeah, I see you, Rafe. 
Oh, you're not the Wraith. You're a local creature. But I've also scanned you, so that's fine. Right on then. The Scourge may have to stabilize this remnant site, Pathfinder. What do you mean, destabilize this remnant site? That sounds like you should scan things. Oh. I should be ready to see it explode. Neither seems to be the option. My face it is full of sad. That's fine. We'll just turn you on to our next objective. Which probably isn't that far away, you know, is it? Okay, so I fell down off this one of these ledges. So I can prob probably make my way back from over here, maybe? Yeah. That's fine. And... Well, fall down is completely the wrong phrase, isn't it? I leaped. I very much leaped. The full intention of investigating that further. Okay. What's on this tether pad? An explorer to a fault, fascinated even when scared. Maybe doing something normal kept the fear away. Um. I didn't see what the tether pad said. I think that would have been nice. So all we heard was explorer to a fort. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do with that information. That's not enough information. <gasps> Get. That's fine. We are looking for a place to put our little stuff. A bacon? We are here to place bacon. Progress, right, Dad? Probably simple, but in a new galaxy and after I... Never mind. What are you talking about, kid? Oh, the kid stayed behind. Dad went on, but... Not the daughter. Was she not allowed to the initiative? Did she simply not want to join the initiative? Did the dad not have a choice in the matter? I think the dad would have had a choice in the matter. At least as far as whether he wanted to go. Though I can see how... He would not have had a chance to force his daughter to join him. Get machinery, Ryder. We should be careful. Embedded in solid rock. <laughs> Impressive engineering. Can't interface with it. Guess we'll never know. Which came first? The rock? The tech coming out of it? Uh, the chicken. No, actually the egg. It just wasn't laid by chicken. Ooh, nickel. I'll take your nickel, nickel. All 
Right. Well. 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 And there looks to be a little bit of activity over here. Hi, who are you? <gasps> You're the chosen. Hey, 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 wait, wait a moment. I'm coming to you. I'm about to try something. Thank you. <gasps> okay, so the hammer is a very vertical strike. So the sword is better for hitting multiple enemies. But this is better for solos. So all in all I think I will switch back to a sword when I get the chance. Also I love the whole uh, idea of just jumping into the air, detecting the enemy and charging right into there like like nothing even matters. Distance is immaterial. Feels nice. What is our marker nearby? Where even are we? Place the first seismic hammer. So we were at an important okay, location. Firing the first hammer. Hold on to something. Remnant coming from below. Oh, are these the hammer sights? Tremor for a couple of remnant. Let's place the next hammer. Where is the next hammer expected of us? Who knows? There's a lot of markers. There's just a fuck ton of markers around. But dun dun dun, I want these two next. So next time we will go there, 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 there. That sounds like a plan, right? Oh god, I forgot I could zoom out further. There's a lot going on on this planet right now. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time when we will go and take care of business. It looks like we are wearing eyeliner on this particular night. Bye bye.